Hi, I'm Brad. Today we've got a really good update, which is the Mitsubishi 4B11 engine. Now, this is the all-alloy block and head uh, twin cam multi-valve four-cylinder two-liter engine that came out in the Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art as well as the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10. And you may remember some of our previous videos many years ago. I had a, um, an R&D vehicle. We competed at World Time Attack. We had a stroker engine and all that kind of stuff. Well, we've had a client um, tow in his Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art. They had a range of mechanical updates and unfortunately it um, needs an engine rebuild and I'll show you that detail in a second. And in the next um, couple of weeks, we're gonna do a range of videos in showing you the mechanical repairs and upgrades. We're gonna do a 2.2 litre stroker upgrade with forged pistons, rods, heavy duty crankshaft, um, replace a lot of the mechanical damage and then put it all back in the engine with the heavy duty uh, wet clutches on the SST um, uh, semi-automatic transmission because the rally art only came with an option of the semi-automatic transmission and you'll see our other videos on the SST transmissions make sure you check them out as well because the Evo 10 had an option for a five-speed manual transmission as well as the SST auto the rally art only ever came in Australia with the SST so let's talk about the engine so this is the alloy block the 4b11 four-cylinder you got to remember it's an east-west engine so the front of the car um, is um, here, the back of the car is there, and this engine sits horizontally, and you've got the cylinders. So what we can see in here, we've taken the head off. You can see the wet liners where the uh, water galleries are around the side, the pistons, and you can see the unfortunate damage that has happened. And this particular one here, um, if I pull that part out there, you can see that is what's left of the top of the valve seat, which unfortunately is supposed to sit in here and that's the uh, broken matching combustion chamber you can see the valve stem here down inside the the port and that part normally sits in there effectively what's happened it's broken the valve it's rattled around inside the uh, combustion chamber and and all the mechanical damage has smashed everything up in here it smashed all the tops of the pistons it luckily hasn't done any damage to the cylinder liner which means we can save the block but if you look down there closely you can see the top of the compression ring and what's missing out of the side of the piston so there's a pretty good chance what actually happened first and i'm a big believer in this is what caused it to happen and unfortunately these engines are known for cracking off the tops of the pistons so what's probably happened is that missing part of the piston has broken off rattled around inside the combustion chamber jammed underneath the valve seat and you can see there's marks on the side on the underside of the valve seat here and then what's happened is the valve has jammed open, the pistons come up and smashed it and broken it sideways. It's dropped off and then it's rattled around inside the combustion chamber and what was left of the piston has then gone everywhere else. And here is actually some of the broken parts of the piston as well, which was in the combustion chamber. And amazingly, it's just incredible how everything goes from one cylinder across to all the others and you can see all the, the broken bits in here as well which just happens as a byproduct of the way the engine runs before it finally shuts down and um, will never ever start again. So um, you can see on the inside here, the combustion chamber on the underside of the head where the parts have smashed around and damaged the spark plug. It should, well, we've pulled the spark plugs out of these ones, but the dead giveaway when we're engine coming, we couldn't pull the spark plug out of this, out of this cylinder. And um, you can see all the damage there. So this head, unfortunately, we can't use anymore and um, we're gonna get replacement head to rebuild this engine. And what you can see, the engines, this, the head's upside down there, the variable inlet and um, exhaust um, control mechanisms on the end of the camshafts, which is driven by the cam chain. And I'm sure you've seen our other videos. So what we're gonna do next is completely strip the block, give it a good birthday, mechanically check it from any hairline cracks or any other mechanical damage. And then we're gonna rebore it and give it a big birthday, put it all back together and uh, put some more grunt through this car, make it a little more reliable with some um, upgrades to the transmission and we'll keep you in the loop along the way. So if you're looking for engine upgrades, we do a lot of them. Of course, you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Check out our new website, mrttuned.com.au and we'll give you another update on this Mitsubishi engine shortly. Thanks for watching.